Time now for Sid Sixero. This is where I get 60 seconds to just talk. Thank you. Toronto Maple Leafs have righted the ship for now. They beat Chicago last Wednesday after being down 2-0. Then Saturday they beat Detroit despite giving up three third period goals. Not a lot of teams win in this league when they get scored on three times in the third, but these are the Leafs after all. Biggest positive of the night for me, John Tavares. No question. It's been a while since we saw number 91 look like 91. And it's understandable considering how badly he was hurt in game one of last season's playoffs. But he's slowly rounding back into form. One goal, two assists, which included this beauty finish off an Alex Kerfoot two-on-one. He is the captain. He makes $11 million a year. Look, let's be honest. We put a lot of heat in this town on GM Kyle Dubas, head coach Sheldon Keefe, Austin Matthews, Mitch Martyr, and for good reason. But this team isn't going anywhere unless Tavares is right. He is the captain after all. And on Saturday night, for the first time in a while, Tavares looked all right. <laughs> Jeff Merrick always looks all right. Hockey Night in Canada, the Jeff Merrick Show, Sportsnet 590 <laughs> The Fan, 32 Thoughts of the Podcast. Uh, looks fantastic. Mr. Merrick, I, uh, let's uh, quickly – oh, go ahead, go ahead. Can, can I make a quick point? I love how you introduce but I get 60 seconds to talk. You've been talking your whole life. Where does this I get 60 seconds to talk come from? I always giggle when I watch this in the morning. I, I get have, 60 seconds to talk. I have to act like this freedom's fresh, Jeff. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to sell that. Um, <laughs> Vegas Golden well, Knights. Finally, league. these shackles. Yes, yeah, the been shackles are by. off. Yeah, the three-hour show with Timmy wasn't enough. Uh, tomorrow night, Vegas and the Leafs. Uh, we, uh, Marner and Tavares yeah. and Kerfoot. That seems like it's working. That's the line. Yeah. yeah, right? Like, that's the line. You know what? The the, the finish on the Kerfoot pass was something. But how about the um, the Tavares pass to Kerfoot in front of the net for that goal? Like, those two are a real nice battery uh, on Saturday. But you're right. Like, if the Maple Leafs are going to do anything, the quote-unquote core four have to be the ones that lead this thing. Like, this whole thing, you mentioned Cal Dubas, this whole thing has been built around the top four forwards. And that's where they're going to live and die. The whole thing's not built on the blue line. The whole thing's not built on the, you know, the goaltending. Although defensively, the past couple of seasons, I think the Maple Leafs have been a lot better than people have given them credit for. Uh, but if Matthews ain't doing it, Marner not doing it, Nylander not doing it, and to your point, John Tavares isn't doing it, this is going to be a tough slog for the Maple Leafs. But very positive signs coming out of Saturday. And that line is hot. And as much as Tavares, you know, that coming out party for this season on Saturday was a big one, Man, did Mitch Marner need that goal. First goal in 16 games, Sid. That one was the, uh, the gorilla off the back. Yeah, I don't care if it wasn't a Picasso. Uh, that kid will take it regardless of how it looked. Uh, uh, we, got, we got about 40 seconds here, Jeff. The, the There's no, no, dis no descriptions on the game sheet. No, yeah. absolutely none. Uh, the Kyle Beach story continues, the sexual assault story out of Chicago. Uh, it's not yeah. ending. I mean, you and Fridge have been talking about it on the podcast on Saturday night. This no. isn't going anywhere. What's the schedule look like this week? What should we look for? Okay, so a couple of things. So on Tuesday, the Kyle Beach Camp and the Chicago Blackhawks start negotiations. That will be interesting. Uh, but today, the NHL Players Association has an executive board meeting very much in dispute whether uh, Donald Fear remains the executive director. And the Winnipeg Jets, Kevin Chevel, day off, general manager and owner Mark Chipman will speak today. Many people are wondering why Kevin Chevel, day off, has escaped punishment in all of this, considering he was part of the May 23rd, 2010 meeting when this was first addressed with the Hawks.